Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. This customer brought in his awesome Super C for us to take a look at. He had the Victron equipment put in at a local RV dealership. It doesn't specialize in electrical. He felt like everything was working fine and he came in just for us to do the programming of the settings because they were not familiar with it. But when we opened it up, we found several things that we feel like he should fix. So we wanted to point those out to you so you can avoid the same mistakes. So firstly, we found that he has a main battery switch in the other compartment, but they still installed battery switches on each inverter, which really is not necessary. If we simply turn the inverter off and then amp clamp this wire, you'll see that there is no standby consumption when the inverter is flipped off. So there's no need for these power switches. All they do is add extra resistance and cause heat to build up in this compartment. So we're gonna suggest that he removes them. Before we even open the battery compartment, I can tell you that the wiring is not correct. We've got two sets of four out, one going to each inverter that's coming out of the batteries, but we only have one set of four out going in to the length distributor. So how can we push this amount of current through this cable? We really shouldn't be doing that. So we're gonna increase this cable size well, it's already a four out cable, so we're just gonna run another in parallel with it. So let's check out the battery cabinet because if they've undersized the cable run going into the Lynx distributor, they're probably undersizing the switching and fuses in here. So as you can see, we've got a 275 amp rated switch, even though this system can push close to 600 amps, and we've got a 500 amp rated BMB shunt. So we're gonna be removing this and putting in a 1000 amp and we're gonna be doubling up the four out runs and putting in two beefier switches. Now, we would never have designed a 12 volt system from scratch because of this issue. I mean, dual four out runs are an atrocity. That's so much work, it's so much cabling, it's expensive. The switches are gonna get warm. There's a lot of current flowing through them we would just have gone with 24 volts from the beginning and wired some of these batteries in series and then the rest in parallel. But we don't have that option now because the inverters are already purchased, they're already installed. Another issue is the way they've wired and fused the batteries. So we see here, all the batteries are combined on a Lynx distributor and the Lynx distributor holds mega fuses. Mega fuses have a small amperage interrupt current rating. I think it's about 2000 amps. So when you're using lithium batteries, you really should have either an MRBF or a class T fuse. They have a much higher amperage interrupt rating. So that means if there's a short circuit downstream and it pulls more than 2000 amps somehow, the fuse is not going to actually do its job and blow. It's gonna weld itself back together as it's trying to open that circuit. So, that's where an MRBF or class T fuse are very important. So we're gonna end up running um, the batteries in sets of two, we'll wire two in parallel with a four out jumper, and then we'll wire them to the Lynx distributor, but we won't use the fuse. We'll land them directly on the top bus bar for the positives, and we'll put an MRBF fuse directly on the battery terminals. We might not finish it today, so we may be sending this customer home with some materials to go.